How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So today I wanted to talk about some of the best VPNs that you can use for China. So I've got four that I'm going to recommend and that'll be Express, Nord, Surfshark and Viper VPN. Now all of these VPNs, you could say they have their own setbacks and advantages. And I'll talk about those in just a little bit. Uh, but if you guys are interested or if at any point you'd like to check for links to pricing discounts or full reviews, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Now, the number one recommendation, my personal recommendation would be ExpressVPN. Now, ExpressVPN typically will not require any manual configuration. It's as much of a plug and play type of VPN as it can get. And that's why I like to recommend it. Not only is it a good VPN for China because it's able to uh, easily bypass the Great Firewall of China, but you can also download it even if you are in China. There are other URLs that you can uh, look up and get your hands on in order to access ExpressVPN from China because the regular ExpressVPN website is banned in China, unfortunately. And even if you're not able to access it through the browser, you can go to the Tor browser because they have a Tor browser uh, link that you can also use to access and download ExpressVPN and get yourself that subscription. So there are plenty of ways that ExpressVPN can be made available to you, whether you're outside of China or in China. Now, I would definitely recommend downloading the VPN before you get to China to make sure that you don't have to deal with the hassle of downloading a VPN within China. And uh, again, typically ExpressVPN will not require manual setup, but if you have to do a manual setup, all you need to do is go to expressvpn.com forward slash support forward slash VPN hyphen setup. And let's say you're using it on Windows or Android and just click on one of these setups and you'll be able to set it up manually because usually a manual setup will work a little bit more reliably when it comes to VPNs in China. Uh, now, if you go to the settings, I would always recommend keeping the kill switch on and keep the protocol selection on automatic. That way the VPN will decide which uh, protocol to choose depending on uh, what's going on with the Great Firewall of China. Sometimes OpenVPN might work, other times TCP. So uh, just keep it on automatic and let the VPN make the decision for itself. And also keep the kill switch on just in case the VPN connection disconnects. It will also disconnect your internet so that the Chinese authorities or ISPs won't be able to know what you're doing online. So this will make sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, it will disconnect you from the internet altogether. Okay, so that is it for ExpressVPN. Viper VPN is a great option. It's another great option. Though what I don't like about Viper VPN is that you don't really get to uh, access any streaming services. It's not exactly the best VPN for accessing streaming services and whatnot. It's great, it's fast, and it often bypasses the Great Firewall of China. Uh, but it's just not great for anything else besides China, in my opinion, at least. Although when it comes to security, encryption, and maintaining your privacy, it is absolutely wonderful. Okay, now when it comes to NordVPN and Surfshark, these are great, and you can try to use the uh, regular configuration of NordVPN uh, and Surfshark without having to do any manual configuration, although you probably will have to at some point to make it work with the uh, Great Firewall of China. At least if you want it to work reliably, you're gonna have to you know, just go to the um, manual setup right here, for example, with Surfshark and look at the manual setup for your specific device and go ahead and set it up. It's typically not that difficult and you can always uh, talk to the live chat support if anything arises. But these are the top VPNs for China China, they're typically quite a bit reliable. In my opinion, the most reliable one is definitely ExpressVPN, followed by Viper VPN and Nord and Surfshark. So that would be my recommendation for some of the best VPNs that you can use in China. And again, they're all great. They all have a kill switch. They have a no locks policy. They maintain your privacy. They'll protect you on uh, public Wi-Fi and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's up to you what you want to go for. 
uh, depending on your situation. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about them, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you're interested in saving a little bit more money. And keep in mind, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee anyways. So let's say you got one VPN and it's not working in China for whatever reason. You can just ask for the refund and you'll be good to go and you can just go ahead and get another uh, subscription with a VPN that actually works. So let's say you went for Viper VPN and it didn't work. You can still request that 30 day money back guarantee. Same thing with Express VPN. Although before requesting a refund, I would recommend talking to the live chat support. They might be able to help out with something. Maybe there's a little step that you missed or something that you're doing that may not be allowing you to get your VPN to work within China. So always talk to the live chat support. Try to solve the problem. And if it doesn't work, just get your refund. So that's pretty much it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.